in this lecture let us understand two more agile methodologies the first one discussed here is agile modeling or am agile modeling is a practice based methodology for effective modeling and documentation of software based systems agile modeling can also be considered as a collection of values principles and practices for modeling software that can be applied on a software development project in an effective and lightweight manner so let us understand the features of agile modeling here agile models are more effective than traditional models because they are just barely good they don't have the overhead to be perfect so the main focus here is on uh, adaptability to changing environment the agile modeling philosophy recognizes that an agile team must have the courage to make decisions that may cause it to reject a design and refactor it means that the agile team should be able to make decisions at any point of time according to the changing requirements of the customer now let us understand some modeling principles that am suggest they are first one model with a purpose it means a developer who uses am should have a specific goal about the model to be created once the goal for the model is identified then the type of notation that is to be used and level of detail required will can be understood more clearly another modeling principle is use multiple models so we know that there are different types of models for software development so here uh, a team can apply different models and notation to describe the software only a small subset is essential for most projects am suggests that to provide needed insight each model should present a different aspect of the system and only those models that provide value to their intended audience should be used moving to the next principle that is travel light as software engineering work proceeds keep only those models that will provide long term value and discard the rest so every pro product that is kept must be maintained as changes occurs this represents work that slows the team down next one is content is more important than representation it means that the modeling should be able to provide information to its intended audience know the models and the tools you use to create them understand the strength and weaknesses of each model and the tools that are used to create it and the last one is adapt locally so the modeling approach should be able to adapt to the needs of the agile team these are the modeling principles that are suggested by am now one of the method that is used for representing analysis and design models is known as unified modeling language or uml now we are moving to the next method that is agile unified process or aup the agile unified process adopts a serial in the large and iterative in the small philosophy for building computer based systems let us understand what this means by adopting the classic activities like inception elaboration construction and transition aup provides a serial overlay that enables a team to visualize the overall process flow for the software project serial overlay means a linear sequence of software engineering activities so this is what is meant by serial in the large so while viewing it as a whole it will be occurring as sequence of activities but when it comes to the case of each activity the team iterates to achieve agility and to deliver meaningful software increments to end users as rapidly as possible so while developing each of these activities that are included in 
the different phases of software development, it will be performed in an iterative manner. And it will achieve agility because uh, it is adaptable to different changes that are provided by the users. Then each AUP iteration addresses the following activities. So the activities that are taking place in an iteration are modeling. Modeling means UML representations of the business and problem domains will be created in this activity. After that, implementation comes. Implementation means models are translated into the source code. Then comes the testing activity. That is, the team designs and executes a series of tests to uncover the errors and ensure that the source code meets its requirement. Now coming to the next activity, that is deployment. Deployment focuses on the delivery of a software increment and the acquisition of feedback from end users. Then comes configuration and project management. Configuration management addresses change management, risk management and the control of any persistent work products that are produced by the team. Project management tracks and controls the progress of the team and coordinates team activities. Then comes environment management. Environment management coordinates a process infrastructure that includes standards, tools and other support technologies available to the team. These are the activities that are addressed during each AUP iteration. That's all about Agile Unified Process. Thank you.